Okay, I think we're good to get started, aren't we, Anna? Yes. Hi, everybody. Welcome hey. to Aklamali. Hi, can everybody hear us? Yes, we can. can. Yes, we can. Hi, who have we ha got online? Venetia. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Great to see you on here. And thank you yes, for sending sir. in your question. Oh, anytime. Uh, Excellent. So, um, do we have everybody on here? How many people do we have, Anna? So, we have five lovely ladies here joining us today. Who do we have? Let's check. I'm trying to figure out who are the ladies we have. It should be under the participants. Yes, thank you. Okay, hi, Nahid. Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Lovely to see you all. Kanis, do you hear me? We don't hear you all. Hello, hi. Can you hear me? Hey, yes, we hear you. Hi, uh, how are you? I'm good. Maha, we don't hear you. Your mic is off, darling. Yes, okay, yes, it's on. Hi, Ahlam, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Venetia, your um, video okay, well. is on. Yes, yes. that's great. Right. <laughs> okay, it's absolutely brilliant. We're going to get started because it's past one o'clock. Thank you for joining me today, all of you. It's been an absolute pleasure to reconnect, especially in these times. Um, so, Sorry, um, Aslam, to interrupt you. Your camera yes. is uh, blocked. Now we cannot see you. It's frozen. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. Can you see me now? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, welcome everybody, and it's a real pleasure to see you all. Um, and I'm really, really excited to answer all your burning questions. Um, and this is a really, really good time to start thinking about our health, our mental health, our um, physical health, because honestly, there's never going to be a time like this to focus on ourselves. Um, the objective is for me to do these every week so that by the end of the lockdown, whenever that may be, we come out the other end a lot stronger, a lot fitter, and also just really feeling like bosses, feeling like we've used this time really, really well. So um, there's never going to be a time like this, so let's get into it. Just before we get into all the questions, Anna, my lovely IT lady, the guru, is going to take you through some very quick pointers. Um, Anna, do you want to take over very quickly? Sure, so the meeting will be recorded and we will be posting this on YouTube. So thank you so much for your participation. And as mentioned in the email, if you don't want to be on the camera, just type in your question in the chat and Ahlam will answer it. Um, we are uh, on the time, 40 minutes. Uh, we will try to get to as many questions as we possibly can, but then we will uh, get back to those questions that we didn't have time either next week or in our uh, Instagram post. Ahlam, she's amazing with all that Instagram post. And what else? If you want to be on the camera, please raise your hand. There is an option in the Zoom uh, software where you have, if you are on the phone, is uh, the three dots more and you have there to raise the hand. Or if you are on the computer, you have the option, um, I believe it's under reaction and you have uh, the raising hand there as well. So I am able to see on my side, uh, uh, those of you who've raised your hand. So then I will unmute you and uh, you can ask the question to Aklam. Thank you. Great, let's get started. I think most of you basically know um, what I do. And um, I mean, you've known me for a good 15 years. I've been helping people transform their health for the last 15 years. Um, you know, basically I've been helping people and uh, love doing that. I'm also a master a life coach and a clinical hypnotherapist as you may or may not know um, and um, I'm beginning to work more with neuronutrition to help people understand why they have certain behaviors and how to change those behaviors to affect our lives physically mentally etc so off we go that's enough about me let's get into the questions 
So Anna, do we start with the questions? Um, how do we get started? Sure, so ladies, Anna? please type in your question in the chat option. Or if you want, you can come live here and ask uh, Ahlam, um, either only on with your microphone or you can even switch on your camera, it's up to you. But please raise your hand so that uh, I can see and unmute you. Perfect. So we have Nahid. Okay, so uh, thank you for unmuting me, Anna. Um, and and uh, Alam, thank you so much for doing this because I think it's a huge opportunity because I think all of us have questions around nutrition and stuff and then you feel really frustrated and stuck when things and ways that we've been doing before don't work anymore. So uh, my question is really around that. So I'm, I'm, I'm 46 and, and I've been quite active, but obviously since the lockdown, uh, not too much movement, still exercising every day, but I've consistently put on pounds and not eating or overeating as such. My weakness is sweets. So my question is just how do you lose, and, and even the exercise that I've been doing, uh, my, my, my problem area is around the stomach, everything comes and sits here. Uh, the food intake, although I said I really like sweets, um, when we have some fried fruits, food with Ramadan, it's very minimal. Uh, it's really uh, not much at all. Uh, and my question is that, uh, you know, how do you, um, get rid of that that fat around on your belly around your around your stomach because obviously that's food led because i work uh, I work out six times a week even here and i can feel the muscles under all that flab under that muffin top but it just won't go so can you help me with that thank you that's my question because we're all going through this sort of late 40s, mid, early 50s, sort of um, midriff expansion, so to speak. Now, I feel the biggest, I've been through it myself because of my um, various hormonal issues. Um, some of you might know about it already. Um, you're absolutely right. That is really the main problem. Now, a lot of our lifestyle changes need to be made as we get older. So I found that over the weeks where I've been sitting a lot, the fat tends to build up around the midriff area. However well you're eating, however much exercise you're doing, one other thing you need to keep in mind is that even the exercise we do need to change as we get older, uh, so as not to have the buildup of cortisol, which is the stress-related um, hormone. What happens is when we overstress our bodies, do you take any breaks, Nahi, during the week? Uh, you, uh, you mean from exercise? Exercise. Yeah, uh, I take one or two at most. So I'll exercise five or six times a week, but I do take one or two times. The body does not develop. Are you doing cardio or weights? I am. I am doing more weights, and uh, I uh, so I do twenty minutes in the morning. I run up and down the stairs, but I don't let my beats get uh, BPM get past one thirty five or so. So it stays there, and then uh, in the afternoon or later towards the evening, towards if I do like uh, forty five minutes uh, or so of uh, exercise, forty five minutes to one hour. But it's mainly like bar or pilates, a, a mix of bar and dance and uh, strength. I don't like cardio very much, so the cardio is the morning movement that I do of 20 minutes. Okay, great. So cardio is absolutely brilliant because obviously it helps to burn the fat. But um, how, how, many, how much time do you do, um, how much time do you allocate for the weight, body resistance and... Uh, so the total thing is about, yeah, four, 45 minutes. Excellent. Okay, so you seem to have a good balance going, which is brilliant. Do keep in mind, do you feel a difference in inches or not? No. That's the, that's the whole problem because I'm working hard and uh, there's just flab. And I can feel the muscles under the flab, but all that flab just doesn't go and the inches are the same. A couple of questions. If you're eating absolutely clean, there could be a reason for the, the, the cover-up, whether it's flab or whether it's water retention, because that's quite, re quite, um, that's quite uh, normal for as we get older to have some water retention as well. And your hormones are all fine, right? I haven't had my hormones tested. 
that might be a very important factor because getting a hormones tested after the age of 40 regularly every year is actually quite critical because it could just be that something like DHEA, etc., um, is actually not balanced, and that is what's making you retain water. So, from okay. the sounds of it, you're eating clean, you're working out, and everything seems to be fine. However, if you're still putting on inches and weight, it could seriously be water retention. I doubt if it's fat. So I would okay. say get your tests done, and then we can actually go through the results, I mean, privately, obviously, um, and assess what it is. It could also be the fact, apart from the hormones, it could be there's some food that you're intolerant to, because that yeah. makes you retain water. So right. I had the situation where I worked my backside off, I've eaten really clean, but there's that one little thing that bloats you up. Um, do you right. feel at all any wind, any bloating, any of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, I just feel 24-7 bloated. Okay, so I'm going to say these are the two reasons why you can't lose the weight. Um, you see, I know you very well, you've got an extremely healthy and regimented lifestyle. So I think it only can boil down to two things. You need to have your hormones checked and you need to have an intolerance test done. Because the minute you, okay. you organize these two, the water goes whoosh. It's literally water retention. Within a week, okay. and literally overnight, you will start seeing a lot of water retention being eliminated. I can guarantee Okay, and, and if there are any places that you could recommend in your experience, Elam, then can you put it in the chat or let me know and or maybe everybody will want I to know whatever you prefer. And, okay. um, I'll, I'll message you. Okay, thank you. Thanks so thank much. You. That is such a help. Question. at all. Who's next? Um, So we have Venicia. Venicia, please feel free to ask yes. your question. Hi, hi. I can't hear you very well. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? But yes, tell me. All right, cool. Thank you so much for uh, firstly for even um, initiating something like this. It's really helpful. And um, basically, what Nahid was asking, it kind of made sense because I think uh, post forty. This is something that we, I think all, you know, people get, get that situation, get themselves in that situation. I have never done a hormonal test or a, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I know I have water retention because that's what happens also during like before your period. But I think before that it used to be like, okay, um, you know, the, the period used to come and be okay. And then later on, the period, after 40, nothing worse. It's like your control. I can't hear you very clearly. Your voice is breaking up. Hello? Can you hear me? Sorry, your voice is breaking up. Is it better now? Or is it the same? Is it the same? It's no, a bit, it's a little better, but yes, tell me. So there's been a bit of, uh, I don't know, we've got some internet uh, Connection problems. So you were this morning. During your periods, and then it kind of all disappeared. Yeah. So as I was saying, that uh, usually this used to happen like before, you know, your your periods, and then it used to kind of uh, once you get your period, if you feel like your tummy goes in, but over forty, that never happened. You know, it just remained there. And I I don't know about. I mean, I've I've not done a hormonal test or. You know something that you're recommending right now which i think is very because i don't even know if i'm tolerant or intolerant to certain foods you don't pay much attention to that as well so i guess um, it's really important that what you said that we should do a check yeah. and it would be great if you could let us know you know where do we get these things done um my question also was uh, on the meal plans that you know now it's a fad everybody's doing these meal plans and um, they say okay you lose weight and everything but does this does the meal plan actually help you with your? It may help you, I feel, with your overall weight. But is it anything that is like the meals are suggested to target certain areas of your body where you really need to lose weight, or is it just a general overall, you know, um, plan that is made for you, taking into consideration your dietary uh, restriction, your health, your age, etc. Good question as well. 
generally meal plans will help you with lose weight overall. It's not one particular area that you can target. However, having said that, when you hit um, uh, some of the food intolerances on the head, you will realize that your tummy shrinks because what happens is when you eat foods that you're intolerant to, it all accumulates, the water retention, the bloating and all of that is mainly uh, focused in the belly area. So the minute you give up the food that you're intolerant to, the tummy actually shrinks. So a weight loss program will work overall, but if you eliminate the food items that are the offenders, you will actually find that your tummy shrinks, literally overnight as well. And then within the week, and then as the months progress, you will see a significant difference. The first thing that reduces is the tummy. So, I mean, the best thing to do is probably send you the details for where you can have these tests done and follow on from there. You will see a difference. Okay. I mean, I hope I that helps. It. Yeah, very much. Because I, I mean, when you think of food tolerance or intolerance, it's always like you think, okay, if you're allergic to something, then you just stay far away from it. But otherwise, you just eat, you know, normal because you don't know whether it's good or not. So it, this is something like I have never, ever, you know, come across or no one, no one has ever told me about this. So it's so, so helpful to understand this. Really amazing. Thank you. Very happy to help with where to get it done. Um, I mean, it can be something as insignificant as garlic and ginger. I'm intolerant to garlic and ginger, would you believe it, as well as a few other things. but. You know, we think garlic and ginger are actually quite healthy for us. So there was a time when I was having fresh ginger tea every morning. And actually, I saw myself bloating up and putting the weight on. It was really freaky because I had a very clean lifestyle. I was working out daily, but the intolerances will bloat you up and you will retain water. But the minute you eliminate, that's the good news. The minute you eliminate, you'll go whoosh again. It is a fact. I mean, we've, we've, I've worked with it and tested it out myself. So we'll send you the details on email, yeah? Oh, thank you so much. That'd be so helpful. Absolutely. Thank you. I love garlic as well. And we eat it most of the time. Give the kids as well. Build your immunity. You imagine life without garlic and ginger. I but know. unfortunately, that's exactly what we've done. And what I've done, there's no garlic, there's no ginger in my house, sadly. And I can't eat out for that very reason. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thanks for that question. Um, Anna, who's next? Sure, so we have Kanis uh, next. Hi, hello. Hi, Maha. Sorry, Kanis, did you ask us a question? Did you have a question? Yeah, quick one. Yeah. Um, just on this whole thing of food intolerances and bloating. Um, and I just wanted to know, with sort of elimination, once you've had a test done, any idea of how long it takes to start seeing any changes? You will actually see the difference within 72 hours. Because anything that your body is intolerant to um, takes about 72 hours to be eliminated from your body. And you start seeing the results almost immediately, like within a day or two, but it takes all of 72 hours for your body to eliminate. And then um, obviously you have to keep the allergens out of your system, depending on how intolerant you are. If you're very intolerant, you see the red sort of uh, flags yeah. come up and you need to keep them out for about a year. If you're intolerant, mid intolerant, then it's green. Um, you need to keep those out for six months. And the ones that are yellow, you're very somewhat, but slightly intolerant, you can actually keep them. Or if you are really, really, really conscientious and very staunch about it you can leave them out for three months okay and and one yeah, more thing there's this... a difference almost overnight when you eliminate the things because it has accumulated effect so what yeah, happens because... is if you put in for instance in my case if i put in garlic in my food today i'll see a little increase in weight if i add it on tomorrow i'll see a bigger increase and if i keep eating for a week i'll see a significant difference of at least three to four kilos i've put on and it's purely water weight, so don't stress. But the minute you give it up, you see the reverse effect as well, so it comes off quite quickly as well. Okay, because I've only got, literally, there's two items which are red. One is yeast, and one is, which I don't even know Wait, how, one is yeast? yeast. Yeast. Okay, yeah, bread. 
Yeah. Uh, yep. And the other one is um, Guarana, which I have no Sorry, idea what, what that. Guarana. Guarana. G Guarana. Yeah. Okay. Guarana is generally you might see it creeping into sauces and things. So if you're buying a lot of ready-made foods with sauces, uh, sometimes that creeps in, or even sauces and dips. Ah. Okay. Okay. Price. So yeah, the yeah, idea okay. is to keep it as clean as possible, leave the labels and try and eat a lot of sort of clean foods without the sauces. If you want to make the sauce, make it at home. Um, yeah, but because there, inevitably you'll find a lot of additives, preservatives, key numbers in all of the sauces, in all of the ready-made dinners. Okay, I'll keep this. a check. Yeah, I don't know where that's come from, but yeah, those are the two red items that I'm very intolerant to. Yeah. Okay. So no more bread. Yeah. Yeah, and agar agar generally creeps in, gluten creeps in. So yeah, it's a, po it's a good point to remember to uh, read all the labels. Yeah. Okay, we will do. But yeah, everything else was all sort right. of... Those, and Maha, those... you had a question? Sorry. So we yeah. have... I, I actually, Sorry, my next? question, uh, Ahlam was based on what you were... I think telling Kanees about the intolerance uh, test, but I actually have other questions as well. Okay, so um, I'll just, um, sorry, just hang on a second. Just opening up my email, which I sent the questions late last night, actually, sorry about that. So in, um, so in my situation, I obviously, um, and I, I'm, I'll, you know, I'm coming back to your point about the, you know, how the weight really falls off with, when you just avoid the intolerant foods, I'm living proof of that because I just managed to shed off 14 kilos literally in like a couple of months just without doing much exercise. So it actually is very helpful. Um, I lost obviously uh, 40 kilos many years ago, kept them off. Unfortunately, I gained them back on due to multiple different reasons. Um, a lot of them related to endometriosis, fibroids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I just started dealing with them one by one. But my point is that now when I look at it, because it was a very long journey, a very tough journey, how can I make it exciting, sustainable, and not daunting? Because right now I'm afraid to go down that path again. Yeah. Okay, so my advice here is, so well done, first of all, for losing that weight. Uh, and you know, if you can do it once, you can do it again. So that's amazing. Um, now, the way to make it more exciting is to set yourself, first of all, set yourself little goals. Uh, break it up because it's very daunting when you look at the fact that you need to lose, say, 20, 30, 40 kilos in the next 40 to 50 weeks. It's very scary. It is very daunting. So the thing to do, number one, is break it into smaller chunks and find little um, pleasures to say, okay, when you lose your first 10 kilos, you're going to buy yourself a pair of jeans that you can fit into at that stage in time or something else something a bit you know maybe a nice bag um, or a little treat secondly find a weight loss buddy or find somebody who you're accountable to and um, make sure you weigh in every single week because what happens if you're not accountable to somebody whether it's a friend or whether it's somebody at work um, you can kind of say okay my diet kind of starts next week uh, and the other thing you need to remember that it's a lifestyle change. So you have to make these changes for good. Um, yes, of course, if you have, uh, are your hormonal and fibroid issues sorted or is that in the process? Um, no, so I did get a surgery just to remove them out. And the thing is that they've put me on a, on a very low dose of hormone to prevent it from coming back. Yeah. So I, now I'm but obviously that worried that that will cause even you, more. Yeah. That in itself will cause you to put on the weight. Mm. Yeah. So you're yeah. probably on progesterone. <clears throat> Is that right, Maha? Yeah, I'm on Vizan, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Vizan will actually make you put on the weight. Now you've got to fight really, really hard against the Vizan. Um, mm -hmm. And see if you can speak to a Mirena Coyle, talk to your gynecologist about this. 
uh, because I've been through the similar thing, um, a Mirena coil versus the Vizan. Vizan completely messes your, your hormonal system as well as your weight, as well as the water retention, all very intertwined, unfortunately. Uh, so the Mirena coil is a much lower dose and it has not as bad effect as the Vizan. Um, having said that, you could still lose the weight, but you've got to be very, very regimented. Uh, like I said, find a buddy who you can work out with and who you're accountable to. Do the food intolerance test because that actually really, really helps with, um, you know, maybe the hormonal side and the, the medication is still making you lose the, uh, retain the weight. But then if you're losing the allergens, we're all intolerant to something or the other, whether we know it or not. Mm -hmm. Uh, so once you lose those, um, it kind of comes together and although the Vizan is still there, you can still actually uh, work the whole system in a way that you're losing slower, but steadily. You may not go whoosh because of the Vizan, but you will still um, lose little by little by little. But once you start seeing the difference, you'll get more motivated, you'll work harder and you can lose the weight. Okay. So the trick is to literally Get rid of the Bizan if you can, switch okay. to the Mirena coil, get a buddy, do the food intolerance test, put it all together and get that mindset. I think what's also really important is to get into the zone. Once you're in the zone, you will eat it. I mean, I managed to lose about 10 kilos while on Bizan, but it was a serious, serious struggle. Experience with you. Sure. Does a whole food plant-based diet help? Yes, it does. Does a whole food plant-based diet help as well? It can help for sure. Um, obviously with the hormonal side of things, animals have hormones in them anyway. Mm. So a plant-based diet really helps, but you maybe need to kind of, depending on what your, your blood test, et cetera, say, uh, you need to keep an eye on your B12, your iron levels, because with fibroids and everything, your iron levels can go severely low. Yeah. Yeah. So keeping an eye on all of that, you could still do a plant-based and then top up with B12 and ferritin um, and iron uh, supplements. Sure. So I think you would need to do a complete blood count before you actually make the decision to go plant-based because you can sure. go really weak if you're just doing plant-based without the uh, additional supplements. Sure. Thank you. Does that help? Yes, indeed. Okay. So, do we have any more questions? I that's it that's for helped. now. Thank you so much, okay. ladies. Very okay. interesting questions, and thank you so much, Akhlam, for answering them. So, now we get to hear your lady. top five tips. <laughs> yeah. And I really look forward to seeing you girls get started on a plan. Um, you know, you can download my book, first of all. Um, you know, part of the book with seven healthy recipes, as well as my philosophies on weight loss, which is food intolerance included, as well as portion control and alkalizing your body. So Maha, your question about going plant-based would actually work really well with alkalizing your body, which means less inflammation, which means um, better weight loss and less water retention. So I would suggest please download that preview of my book. Uh, that's a little gift to you. Um, it's right here on the screen. And you know where you can actually get the book from, right? Anna, they can see where they can actually download our book, right? Yes, or it's on the screen book. and then I will copy it in the chat or email you later. Excellent. You so you see the little um, URL at the bottom. If you go to that, uh, we can email this to you as well for those who attended. You can actually download a free preview. And then the top five tips, girls, before we actually um, sign off, please use the recipes from the Hotties Handbook. Uh, get the free previews, use the recipes, tell us what you think. And then on my Instagram page, uh, Instagram handle, I have the high octane weight loss tonic, which you can actually have in the morning first thing and last thing in the, at night before you get to bed. And that really helps to alkalize your body and melt the fat. So uh, obviously you need to drink a lot of water during the day as well. Uh, make sure you get your 10 pace steps daily. Please girls, get moving, get moving. That's critical. All of us who are sat at desks, 
just try and get the 10k steps split it up like nahi like you get you know early in the morning you run up and down the stairs and i mean it's more yeah. difficult now that you but probably it's easier now that we're working from home you can run up and down the stairs take a walk just make sure you do your 10k steps um get 8 hours of sleep now that you don't have to drive and sit in traffic and all of that get your 8 hours of sleep and if you've gone then try and get a quick snooze in the afternoon i promise you these steps really really help and sleep is critical and maha as i said get a weight loss buddy and get them to join this meeting every week if you want because i mean i'm so happy i'm thrilled to answer all your questions and see how we can help you along the journey so tune in every week thursday 1 o'clock um on this journey and share your share your success stories um i don't know if we have just one second let me check if we have uh, radia with us okay now radia wanted to actually suggest um sorry share her results she's done 25 kilos weight loss and she's done really really well so she was supposed to join us but i think because the kids are home it's been a bit of a challenge and her kids are quite young um apart from that please follow me girls on um you know um instagram on youtube and see we're going to be answering a lot of questions i do a lot of uh, recipes weight loss recipes as well as regular healthy wholesome plant based recipes online so follow me and ask me questions if you want email me on hello@aklamali.com look forward to seeing you all thank you all lots thank of love and Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Anaham. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. Thank Thanks, Anna. Bye. Thanks, Anna. Bye.